Hello everyone, Gohan Luke's here. Uh, he, welcome to episode 6. I believe this is episode 6. Uh, today we are going to be doing a quest, except uh, it's going to be night time. I just got the quest from the trader, and the time is currently 21.44, so in just 15 minutes now, uh... It's going to turn nighttime, and the zombies will be sprinting at me. So we're going to try and do this quest. Um, it's going to be a bit more difficult than usual because the zombies will be sprinting at me. Because it is nighttime. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, however, we do have some pretty good gear, so hopefully it won't be that bad. Um, but I thought that I would hop on, do a quest, and then maybe do some building and some upgrading of my base afterwards, make some more cobblestone, um, we can just chat for a bit, and then, yeah, that'll be it, this is probably going to be a shorter episode, um, and we have arrived, alright, I'm going to get this bike facing the right way, there we go. Alright, and it's turned nighttime. So any zombie that sees us will be coming after us. I am hungry. Do I have any other food? I do not. Alright, do I eat this blueberry pie? Um, I'm going to wait a little bit to eat it. Uh, just because I do have some good upgrades for my spear, I get a bunch of stamina. Uh, back whenever I kill a zombie with this, so... Alright, let's start this. Let's search that again. Let's take those things. Does this mailbox get reset? It does! Let's see if there's a book in here. There is not. Unlucky. Alright. Bit of lag. And this is a fetch mission. So I'm just looking for the supplies in here. Hey guys. Yeah. All right, let's see. It's already nighttime, so there's not really any reason to rush during this mission. Um, because the zombies will be sprinting at me regardless. Alright, we can't walk past that. So what do we do here? Ah, to deactivate it. There we go. Take some rags. We can make a bandage with that. There's, uh, we do still have some bandages there, though. Um, uh, Alright, there's definitely someone in here. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Oh my gosh. Oh, I one-shot him. What the heck? Yeah, this is a hazmat zombie. This is normally stronger, I think. Yes. Yep, and even though he is a normal zombie, he is sprinting at me. Because it is nighttime. I just whiff like four times. Oh my gosh. Oh, and here's the supplies. We already got it. Alright, the mission is technically over. Um, however, I do want to continue looting this place. I do want that end loot. I'll try and crouch up here. I think I just broke one up. Yep. Yeah, headshots really do wonders with this weapon. I think I need to go. Yeah, I need to go up there. I've looted this place before. Alright, nice. We got one for a rifle. And a handgun. What's this? I think this. That's pretty good for shovels. Alright, uh, let's check all these rooms before I. I think there's a zombie behind you. No. There isn't. There's just, uh... A bathtub. Yeah, I don't want 
about that. Get some bones. We'll eat that potato. See if there's any murky water in here. Nope. Got the trash. Take that short iron pipe. Those are helpful for uh Ooh, loot back, nice. Sniper volume one. Ten percent more damage when using a scope. That'll be good eventually when I get a scope. Alright, let's see. Anything else to loot in here? Is that it? Oh, we can go in here. Hmm. Nope, nothing in there. Alright. Looks like I just have to go upstairs now. Uh, before, before I do that, I'm going to search here. Eventually, when I'm able to actually make food on the campfire, uh, cause I don't think I have it unlocked yet. Let me check. Where is it? It's not that. It's on here, I think. Yeah, food. Yeah, I almost have it. I need two more of those schemats to unlock bacon and eggs. And then once I unlock that, that's going to be the main food that I'm going to be making. Just eat that for now. Um, and then once I'm able to make bacon and eggs, then I will be saving a lot of the canned food that I get because you need that that's nice uh, you need the canned food to make certain recipes or to make certain foods let's see I think that that's it for this room I don't think there's anything else um, yeah alright let's I crouch and go up this I can't crouch well up here Well, I see you right there. Do you see me? Yeah, you do. <laughs> what the? Oh. Well, hello. You look a bit confused there, buddy. Yeah, you keep hitting the ground, alright? You do you. Oh. Oh my god, the one annoying thing about this place is getting up here. You have to go the other way. There we go, I had to like crouch walk onto it. Some more glue, we'll take it. Your mineral oh my gosh, 60 water. That's crazy. I don't want to drink that right now. I think I'll save that if I'm going on to a large mission. Uh when I'm when I can't eat or drink for a while. Jeez, that's crazy though. Alright, so how do I get past I need to get into there. I think I can turn this off here. Alright, perfect. And then that's the final room. Um, however, I have an idea. I knew it. Yeah, let's uh... That woke him up, it didn't kill him though. That got him? No, it didn't. To read it quick. Yeah, I mean, I would probably be fine going into there. Um, however, I don't want to. I wish there wasn't so much smoke that came out from this. Gosh, yeah, this guy has a lot of health. That smaller one is done. Just this guy, though. And that guy's done, too, now. Alright, I think that's everyone. Let's head down with my spear out, though, just in case. 
But nope, we're good. Yep, and that key will open up the rest of the house. Or that door right there. Yep. So if I really wanted to, I could have just hit this door down and gotten right to the endgame loot. Uh, the zombies would still be here. Um, but yeah, I don't always need to take that path to get here. Less damage from collapsing mines. What does that even mean? I mean, I'm going to read it, but what... Like, what is a collapsing mine, exactly? Is that just like a tunnel that you might have dug? And if it collapses for whatever reason, then you'll take less damage from it? Or are there actual mines that may collapse? I don't know. Eat those potatoes. Alright, and then we have these two to hit into. Let's get these opened. There we go. Got some more food. I'll eat that. I might as well store those. Bring them with me. Read that as well. So we're at 15 out of 75 for the uh, health schematics. If I look here, yeah, medical. so I can make these. Once I get to 20, I can make a plaster cast. And I think a plaster cast, if I make and use it uh, when my leg is sprained or, uh, sprained or broken, then it'll increase the, uh, the healing time of it. And I might be able to like run and jump as well. Right, if I put that on. And this is the best upgrade right here, is making, being able to make first aid kits. However, you can find a lot of those just out and about, so it's not too necessary. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of upgrades here. So you need to read more of those books to unlock different tiers. You can get like an SMG auto turret to protect your base. Then workstations is the big one right now. Um, first ahead of them. Boost loot odds with advanced engineering. Loot picking boost to crafting level 15. Okay. So yeah, these are going to be very, very important to get. However, at the end of this next tier, I should be able to unlock a workbench. So I'm not going to, even if I do for... Actually, no. Or is it a forge? It's either a forge or a workbench. I think it's a workbench that I get from uh, the trader once I get to that next level. Why is it green? So want me to buy that? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, those are already maxed out, which is good. Put one point into Lucky Looter. Advanced Engineering is the one that uh, I would want to invest into if I want to get more of those schematics. There's Daring Adventure. Upgrading this is probably going to be my next. This is probably what I'm going to do next. I need to get all the way to level 10 though to get this one. Which is the big perk is pick two quest rewards. So I'll continue upgrading into this. Alright, let's make our way back now. Did that zombie somehow know I was here? Oh my god, it's a feral too. Oh, I one-shot him. <laughs> Jesus. It's kind of crazy how much damage I do. Yeah, this door was open, so 
zombie just ran in, ran on in. Alright, let's see here. Should be able to get rid of some of this. Then if I... I don't want to eat that right now. What can I toss out that I don't need? Toss out the coffee beans. The only reason I collect coffee is because uh, it's normally pretty good for trading. Get some good uh, dukes from it, but not really necessary right now. Yeah, that's the snow biome over there, which I'll definitely go there and show you it at some point. Actually, I'll show you it right now. Um, me and my friends once uh, put away all of our loot into chess and then if we continue heading this way there should be a bridge that you cross and on that bridge it's not this bridge I don't think or is it might actually be I think it is this one yeah me and my friends built oh my gosh lag. Me and my friends built a wall on this bridge and the other bridge too, because I think there's another one down there. And we put all of our stuff in chess, and then we went out into this biome, and I think there were four of us, and we just kind of had a anarchy server, where you could raid each other's bases. It was like kill on first sight, basically. It was crazy. And so I had to <laughs> I became a bit of a uh, a gopher. I kind of just made a hole in the ground and uh, um, hid my stuff in there. And I think uh, in the beginning of when we did that, uh, one of my friends found my base and completely raided it. And since I was logged off, I wasn't there, but they filled my entire base with wooden spikes. So when I logged in, I kept on getting killed over and over again. <laughs> like 10 minutes before I I think I like phased through one of the spikes and was able to escape but uh that was a crazy time all right we did get that quest done I can't turn it in though uh, because it is nighttime so I think that I will just head back to my base and get some upgrades done and then when it eventually hits morning I will turn in the, requ uh, the quest and get my reward from it, and then I'll probably end the episode there. Yeah, it will be a bit of a shorter one. Um, let's see, am I able to craft while on here? It doesn't really matter, I don't have much soil. I was going to consider making some cobblestone. We'll make 17. Oh, but I can make it while riding a bike, that's cool. There's the house that we did the last horde night on. Or, well, what's left of the house, I guess I should say. Oh, what did I just hit? I just lost some durability on my bike. That's annoying. So, yeah. Even though it's nighttime, zombies are going to have a hard time keeping up with me on my bike. Especially when I'm uh, going at max speed. So I don't really need to worry about being chased by zombies. I'd only need to worry if I was getting chased by a uh, a vulture, like a zombified vulture, because those can go the same speed as me. They're quite fast. And then um, maybe hyenas or zombified dire wolves or a bear or something. But I have yet to see a bear. I've seen a dire wolf in the uh, the horde night that I did, um, but it wasn't really that much of a problem because we were up on the top of the house, and that bear was not reach or that wolf was not reaching us from there, so we were good. Let's collect some materials. We're gonna make how much can we make from this? Oh boy, yeah. Let's let's make that. Let's see. Nothing else really there. 
All right, in the meantime, let's store some of this stuff back. I eventually need to properly store this stuff. I got some enforcer gloves, but I don't think it's better than the ones I currently have on. I have biker gloves, which give me a 40% melee damage increase compared to these biker gloves, which really isn't. It even has less armor rating. Yeah, this isn't even worth it. It doesn't have any good buff except for <laughs> four, minus 4% four fuel usage. So I'm not using a vehicle that even uses fuel, so I'm just going to scrap that. Um, and so... Yeah, it'll give me one armor. Yeah, I can even cancel it, and it'll put it back here. When I scrap it, it gets put into here. Uh, however, it's not going to scrap it until this is all done. We're just going to take about 12 minutes, it looks like. Alright. Um, yeah, let's put the rest of this away. to sort these chests out at some point. Since I can make these, uh, here, let me edit this actually. If I go to edit, then I can edit what it says on here, and then if I wanted to, I can, uh, change it to, like, I don't know, medicine, or, uh, food, or building materials. Anything like that. For now, though, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's good. Um, I'll probably have a storage system a bit lower in my base. Because um, I do plan on... You know what I just realized? I should not have... Oh man. I had planned to make a hole going down somewhere. Uh, however, I already made my entire floor cobblestone, which has, oh, 1,500 health. That's going to take so long to break through. All right, that's fine, though. I'm not going to be, uh, well, actually, I might. Let's see, where would be a good spot to make this? Because I am at the top of a mountain, so I'd want to... You know, I think I might make it on one side of my base so that I can start, like, around the middle and then have a stair, like, a double, two-wide staircase going down underground. And then I'd probably have it circle around since I am on a mountain, so if I just continued going this way, I'd eventually just go right out of the mountain here. So, I'd want to go down and then... Uh... Maybe I'll just go down, like start on one end over here, like start the staircase going down here, and then once I'm fully under my base here, I'll just have like a downstairs area, and then I'll have like a, a hole going straight down. Uh, but this does suck, because I'm going to need to get rid of all of this. It's going to take a while. A very long time. I only get some stone and clay from it back. Uh, I think I'm going to do this off camera. Uh, this, this is going to take a painfully long time to complete. So I'm just going to wait a second for this cobblestone to be made. Um, let's see. I can get my nail gun. There it is. I'm going to be using this to upgrade. Yeah, I can continue through this side. Oh, and maybe I should make an upstairs as well. Alright, that... Alright, where did I... It was here. We're going to fix that. Um, I'll continue... I'll fix... Or I'll not fix. I'll upgrade this side of my wall. And then I'm going to... 
going upstairs. Because this is high enough that I'll probably make the wall the next height around there. That looks good. So yeah, I'll upgrade all of this. back up so I can get up to the next level. And then I will need to make a staircase. There we go. I think I need to get the corners too. Yeah, I do. Let's make sure that this is all upgraded. Then I also want to dig out one here and then put some spikes down on the ground in front of my house so that any zombies that try to attack it will get damaged and hopefully killed from it. Alright, I'm not sure where exactly. I should figure out where the staircase is going to be before I fully make the wall, or the next, the next part. My base, let's see, because I could just have a ladder and just go straight up that way, but I kind of want a staircase. Yeah, so what if I had a staircase that went up like this, and then this just continued on this way? So I'd uh, break this, these blocks here, and this would just continue downwards. Oh, he's open. Brilliant. And then I'd continue going under, and make my... Uh, I don't know if there's enough room for that. Hmm. Let's see. What I might do actually is... I think I'll have the staircase going this way. Uh, going down. That way, um... That way there's not really a chance of me going outside of the mountain. Because the edge of the mountain is on the other side of that wall. So I can go to, uh, this way, make the staircase going that way, under the base, which uh, I'll probably do off camera, because that's going to take a while, um, but what I can do right now is just briefly show you what the next level will look like. I'll need to upgrade all of this, but... Pretty quickly, let's build this. So I will have a staircase. Yeah, I can even change the shape by holding down R on my keyboard. I'll go to shape, and then I'll just make a staircase like that. I'll click on that, and boom. I can make a staircase like that. Not gonna fill up both sides yet. Uh, no, I'll just leave it like that. So I'll do this both sides, and then boom. Um, and then I can put railings that go around the edge here so that I don't fall down. And this will be the next level of my base right here. And maybe I'll make little balconies on the each edge or something, um, which would be nice for attacking zombies if I need to. And then I'll have the other staircase going in that direction there. Yeah, that looks good. Then I'll obviously continue this out. This will get upgraded all the way to cobblestone as soon as I can. And eventually to concrete. Alright. Um, however, let's run down and get my reward. I actually don't feel like running though, because biking is faster, so I'm just going to grab my bike.
Can I open this bell on my back? Oh, oh, I didn't lose any damage. Okay, good. I was afraid I'd damage my bike doing that. Right. Boom. All right. Damn, you smell like the dead. Uh, you better have money. Yeah, I do. Relax. I'm good on bandages right now. I'm not using a shotgun. I don't really need explo- I'm not going to be using explosives right now. Or like a rocket launcher, so I don't need that magazine. So I'll either take the cobblestone rocks or the bacon and eggs for food. Yeah, this is- uh, Bacon and eggs are very good because they give you a lot of food and a lot of health. And uh, they give you a stamina boost as well when you eat it. And you make bacon and eggs by uh, going to the campfire and using some eggs and pieces of meat. So that's one of the reasons why I've been going to a bunch of those uh, bird nests and looking for eggs because I've been I want to try and save some of them so I can make these. Um, however, I am doing okay on food right now. I still have that blueberry pie. So I think I'm going to take the cobblestone rocks because that is 25 blocks worth of uh, stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, we finished here too. Let's see. I've already got a nail gun, so I'm not going to take that. Food bundle, trap bundle, helmet light mod bundle. Oh. Oh, hold up. Alright, wait. I'm going to tap out of that for a second. I'll be able to go back to it. So I want to make sure. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna well, get this. I guess I'm gonna have I to pay you now that you did it. Hmm. I might not actually. I think I want to go with the food bundle just because it's gonna have a lot of food, and I will be able to get more of those magazines. But eventually, I do want to get this helmet light mod because if I put that onto my helmet, then I can press F, and then I'll be able to have a light on at all times. And I'll be able to see at night when I'm doing missions like I just did at night. I'll be able to see a lot better. Uh, but I probably won't be doing missions too often at night. And uh, um, I can see okay for now without that mod. So I'm just going to go with the food bundle because I am struggling with food. I do want to upgrade uh, or get more of the schematics so I can make bacon and eggs. So let's see. Um, just for next time, I will select I got this. Work to do. You better not fuck this up, or I'll cut and your goddamn then... throat. Oh, goodness. That guy is always so aggressive. Come on. There we go. So let's go back. Alright, home sweet home. Let's... Alright, we got all of that made. Nice. So we should be able to make about 165 uh, cobblestone blocks. And if I want to, technically, I can... Well, if I upgrade this now, it'll go to wood. And then again, to cobblestone. But I can also make a cobblestone block, which just takes 10 cobblestone. And then if I craft this, then it'll take the 10 cobblestone and it'll make a cobblestone block. Sometimes you'll get these as rewards. And if I place it, it's just already a cobblestone block. The only downside to this is that I miss out on the XP I get from upgrading it from wood and then the cobblestone. So even though if I made these cobblestone blocks, I'd save on wood because I wouldn't have had to use it to upgrade it. Um, and also to make these building blocks in the first place. I miss out on all of that XP. And that XP, like building, is probably the second best way to get XP in the entire game. And I need XP in order to level up. So I'm going to be, I'm not going to be making these blocks. I'm going to be upgrading it the old fashioned way. Um, but let's upgrade this. All right, nice. We got three of these. Boom, bacon and eggs. And we got two more of that mineral water and 10. Holy moly, and we got 10 of these. All right, nice, we're doing really good with food now. So now that I have bacon and eggs unlocked, if I go here, bacon and eggs, I need five raw meat and two eggs. So let's look to see if we can make that. So 
we have the two eggs. Now we need five raw meat. Which we have 40, because we did do that mission uh, over at the farm, and we killed a couple of the boars. So I think yeah, we got two more here. I think that's it for now. We need more eggs is the main thing. Let's put some wood in. Cook this. It takes a minute and 25 seconds to cook one of them. However, um, uh, as you saw at the trader, it gives you a lot of food. Uh, points for that. So, this is definitely worth it. I'm going to need to get some more wood as well. So, let's see. We're looking pretty good, though. Um, going to do some more base upgrades off screen. Um, and, uh, yeah, this will hopefully, I'll hopefully have a second level made, maybe with a balcony or two, and then I'll, I would have started the, uh, the underground section, which I think I'm going to start just making a staircase going straight down here and have it similar to this. Yeah. I'm only taking those blocks away so that I can upgrade under here like that. And now I'll put some blocks back. Which I to R, go to shapes, and then click on that. It'll go back to normal blocks. Which, yeah, that should be good. There we go. So yeah, I can probably fit something right here, like maybe, uh, I don't know, some storage I could put under here. Yeah, I'll figure it all out. Let's check here. It's done. If I collect this. Yep, 36 food, 18 health, 10 plus to max stamina. So I'm going to go ahead and eat it right now. So if you look here, I get for seven minutes I get a running boost. So now I have 136 stamina is my max. Um, and the only reason it's maxed at 119 was because I was hungry. But I have a lot of hunger points that are going into it right now. And yep, that went away. So now my stamina is going back up to max. So now I'm at 136 stamina. So I got 10 extra for seven minutes. And if I wasn't on full health, then I get some health from it, too. So, bacon and eggs is amazing uh, in terms of food. And I will be making a lot of those. That will probably be my staple food for a while. Um, so, yeah, I'll be looking at some more... Or looting some more of those bird nests. Looking for those. Alright, now let's... Like that. And then, boom! The staircase is done. And then there should be railings that I can make. There's a couple of them. I just want to make bars. Yep, so I can go like that too. And I'll just continue that all the way around because I am about to run out. I can make a bar corner as well. Uh. Hmm. This isn't really. I don't think. I think I just make regular bars, and just just put another one there. But yeah, this is what uh, the base is gonna look like. The the second level of it, at least. But yeah, things are looking good. But I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. Don't want to make it too long. Um. Yeah. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye now.